Hello folks and welcome back to Battle Brothers Warriors of the North. Last time we did a patrol here and I was corrected where in fact you can actually just go ahead and um, attack... I thought, I thought you had to attack wandering bands but no, attacking a place does count for kills. So we want to go ahead and we can look around and see if we can find another mission of that sort. Because it'd be a nice amount of money to have. I'm moving up to Adlerfest at the moment because I think we've been down here for too long. I want to move up. I want to see what else we've got. I'll just battle with some greenskins with prisoners. 2,500. Okay. Where's the where's the battle site? Over there. Okay. Let's go deal with that battle site. At the moment, how's our, wounding, how's our woundedness looking? You're a little bit hurt, but you should get healed fairly soon. In fact, by midday, there's a chance you'll get healed. Yes? No? Take it over? It's fully healed. Yep, everyone's fully healed. We're back up to full. Good. Very, very good. Tracking back this way. We're tracking back this way. 3,550 crowns. Would be very nice to have. This 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 free any prisons you find has never really come into has never really come into play, has it? Not really. Oh god, we're gonna have that same problem as before. Last time it worked so well. My god. Well there's one dead looking here. And they're recent. But who knows where who knows where the uh, these I have not a clue where these orcs have gone now. Not a clue. Where have the orcs gone? No idea. That's just really bad quest design. A footprint? Yep, yeah, a footprint that's a, that's a, that's a bandit. That's a, that's a, that's a... Not a bandit? Bandit? No. What was I looking for? Brigand. Which, is, which are bandits, but it wasn't the word I was looking for. Barbarian fur huts with lots of barbarian thralls. It's not what we're looking for, but we're going to go there anyway. We haven't fought barbarians in a very long time, actually. Oh my god, why is the terrain so horrible? Why is the terrain so horrible? Why is the terrain so bad? Is it still technically nighttime? It's not even nighttime. Hit, please. The terrain is so bad. The terrain is so atrocious. Good lord. This could not... This probably could not be any worse. I'll do what I can here just to help... To help with the... Uh, attacking this, but... Emmerich, wait, because I need Emmerich to be basically over here. Nemo. If you go over there, I want to lap you around. Okay, you gotta go up here. Paul. Luke. Shogun. Nox. Rollo. Omega, Rook, Paramon, Grimwald, Rakavan, Emmerich. Not great, but it'll have to do. Paul, Luke. Hmm. A lot of spear lobbing.
Fire, fire, fire a crossbow. Now, whoever you can, basically. Knox. Missing Rollo. Of course. Paraman. Rakavan. Get him down. Brook. Grimwald. Poke, poke, poke. Break, break, break. Emmerich. Move forward. Frankly. Don't let them come into our range. We're going to go and go hunting for them. Nox, you're moving down a bit. Uh, Rollo, move forward one. Paramon, you're fine. Omega, you're fine. Rakavan, move here. Grook, move forward a step. Grimwald, me, Emmerich, Paul, Luke. Cool. You got quick hands. Noted. The dog out because he's already he's already had his turn, so the dog can just have fun. Uh, Gilim, move forward. Nox. Move there. Kill him. He's like, actually, I'm in a bad time right now. Yeah, you are. Not wrong. You are having a bad time right now. Rook. Put this guy. Rakavan. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Move up. Uh, me. Move over there. Kill that guy, move up. Emmerich, move over there. Give him a poke. Paul, over there. Give him a kill. And it's all good. It's all lovely. Exactly what we want. Grimwald, Paraman, Rook. Okay, you're too tired to move. Rakavan, me, Emmerich, Paul, Luke. So was like, hi, excuse me. Didn't kill the dog, though. Okay. Um. Nox over there. Skewer him. Omega. He's coming in. There you go. Cut him down. Rollo levels up. Uh... Some food, some amber shards, some furs, a animal hunting. Yeah, okay. All their all their gear is crap. Fair enough. All their gear is rubbish. But this isn't what I'm looking for. Where have they gone? Like, not a clue. Have we gone too far? Have we not gone far enough? I literally don't know. I gotta I've gotta head back. So I need to go to somewhere, and there's no, the only city up above, north of us, is Kampstadt right now, and frankly, I don't want to deal with that. So I'll head back to Adlerfest and say, to hell with that. I can't do anything, can I? Poisoned berries, she can't be sick and twisting. Uh, pillar of light gleaming in the forest, naturally someone saw so at first, and the last thing they saw. In that stroke of light, a boy rests with his back up against the tree, his head is a lull, his hands Turned up and open. Purple smudges stain his palms. Luke the Gibbon walks up and immediately shakes his head. Poison berries. Didn't stand a chance. Uh, you turned yeah, turn to Battle Brother and inquire if the boy might have gone peacefully. The man shakes his head again. No. Right, let's go to Thal. We haven't actually been to a taxidermist in a while. Not that I think I've got anything useful. But just as curiosity's sake. Besides, we can sell some stuff and hopefully buy some food. But I've not a, no idea where that's supposed to be. 
That's really bad quest design, by the way. If free green skin prisoners, like if the if the thing you're looking for is so far away that the tracks you magically put down literally disappear before you get even anywhere close to them, then that's just bad quest design because I have no idea where to go with that. Not a clue. Not a clue where I'm going to be looking for that. Anyway, uh, so rich veins, unhold attacks. Okay, fine. Let's sell what needs selling. That's not really worth selling. Um, uh, old wooden shields can go away. Those can go away. 50 and 45, those can go away. Yeah, nice. Even if like you wanted things like for dodge, you have better things to dodge with, essentially. Uh, and get rid of most of these. Okay, we can repair food. We need actually food and food. The food's expensive, but I'll buy a, a bit of food just to last a little bit longer. Right, taxidermist. Anything for us? Acid flask. Destroyed on use. Range of three tiles. Reduce the target armor by 20% each turn for three turns. Has a 33% chance to hit by sanders at the same lower or lower height level as well. Okay. That's not in that's not too bad. So I mean, it's worth 2,000, that's not too bad. Uh, Iron Will Powder, nothing else of any use. Large Quivers, etc. Heavy War Dog Armor as well. But that's not actually too bad. How, okay, how much is... I do nothing other than that, isn't it? So like, if I find like um, an Orc War Boss or something, something that has a lot of armor, that's taking 20% of their armor down. And can also hit nearby targets. You know what? I'm going to go for that. In case I actually require it ever. Second wind potion. Uh, fatigue fighters identify this concoction of various stimulants promises to cut one's cat's one's wind. Doesn't say what it does other than that. Hmm. And that uses the mysterious herbs and the adrenaline gland. Okay. Well, we technically have a mission, which I'm going to dump, because I'm not sure what I can do with that. What do you want me to do? Lex stock crowns, paid more for this. What's this? This is kill marauding crews around Dolman. The problem with that is I need, to, I need to come back here to get paid, don't I? I team with a large greenskin slayer. You come across a handful of soldiers from House Gota. They tilt their caps at you. Easy mercenaries? Not sure. If you're about to attack, you make a subtle nod towards Emmerich. He puts his weapon within the hand's reach and nods back. You turn your attention to the soldiers and give them a friendly wave. Oi, mercenary, does, we have little use for you in this world now. The war's over. The Greenskins were routed from Brackenvac just a few days ago. Scouts report seeing them running for the hills every which way, fighting amongst themselves. Orcs killing goblins, goblins killing orcs, just on a full-on rout. So, noble houses need not pay your sorry arse for nothing now because us real soldiers got it under control. Why don't you and your pathetic luck clear out the way? Us fighters got places to be. You handle it, Emmerich. The soldiers... Lieutenant glares at you. Do as I said, sell sword, or there will be trouble. Ignoring him, you give another nod to Emmerich. He gets up, the blade of his weapon loudly scraping off the dirt. The soldiers turn back to the mercenary. He has his weapon into both hands and stares back. As the lieutenant starts to talk, Emmerich bluntly interrupts. Shush, little man! I see the softness in your skin. Not a scar to be seen. Eyes as fresh as the day they were born. Hands as smooth as unshutched candles. If you was of the fighting sort, you'd be out there in those battles you speak of, not out here pissing into the wind. I'll give you two options, because I'm feeling nice. First option, are you listening? First option is this. Go where you're going and don't say another goddamn word. He pauses to hold up two fingers. Option two is a mystery. Speak, and ye shall learn of it. The lieutenant's eyes have gone a little wider, his mouth infinitely quieter. He glances at you, but all you can do is shrug. Another moment, the soldiers hurry away with a determined silence. Emmerich laughs it up, but the incident has you wondering if perhaps it is finally the time to retire. How many more of these cock-ups are in your future? How many more battles? How many more dead men will you have to bury? The company would do well standing on the foundations you've built, but on the other hand, if you retired now, what adventures would you miss out on? You've won! Battle Brothers is a game designed for replayability and for campaigns to be played until you've beaten one or two late-game crises. Starting a new campaign will allow you to try out different things in a different world. That said, you can choose to continue your campaign for as long as you want. Just be aware these campaigns are not intended to last forever, and you're likely to run out of challenges eventually. Um... 
This has been going on for a while now. It's not, been, it's not as long as my Open XCOM campaign, but I do want to move on to brighter passages, I think. And in the future, I will come back to Battle Brothers with all the knowledge I've accumulated, um, all the pages and pages of advice I've gotten in the comments. And in the future, I think, should they do another expansion or should I feel the need to try another start or even to use some of the mods because I've heard this Legends mod is a fantastic thing to do and it looks very interesting. So in the future, when I come back to it, I'll come back to uh, Battle Brothers. But for now, I think we will we'll end the campaign. I'll retire from mercenary life. And, uh, yeah. When you took over the Knights of Nautilus, took over, I started it from scratch, excuse me. You did not foresee history rising up to repeat itself in the worst way possible. The battle of many names was just something you'd heard about. But to see the impetus behind it, and a great invasion of greenskins repeat itself in your own timeline was quite the sight, and you were ready to meet it. Were we, though? Though the company is unlikely to see very many mentions in the histories of the world, you no doubt that it proved crucial in defeating the green savages. If not, then why else do you have an enormous pile of gold to speak for? And it was that pi upon that pile of gold you decided to retire, leaving the outfit in the best hands available. The Rook, the day tailor, retired from fighting, and well, he keeps working with his hands. Now he's back to laying bricks and carrying hay instead of slaying beasts and crutching heads. He took all his mercenary money to purchase a bit of land and settle down. While well, not the richest man in the world, word has it, he, there's a handy, there's hardly a happier man in the realm. Rakavan retired from fighting and returned to his fishing ventures. A huge storm ran up the shores, destroying every skip and drifter, except that wily fisherman's. The only boat to float, Rakavan's business boomed. He lives a comfortable life, waking up to a nice beachfront view every morning. Your days are now spent tending to a garden and slaying the rabbits which venture you into your newfound domain. Every so often you get wind of the Knights of Nautilus' doings, stories about its successes and, unfortunately, the occasional news that one of the brothers has fallen. These tales are welcome to respite from the days upon days of chasing rabbits out of your garden. You spend so much time fighting you never realize that what wars were waged between men of harvest and these goddamn nibbling monsters. Well... You know what? I'm happy with that. I'm, ha I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that end. Not necessarily overly famous, but I think I got an achievement for that. That achievement was leaving a mark. Retire and have your company persist. The Knights of Nautilus are still going, and they're still being run. Uh, I wonder by who at this point, but Noxie by I imagine. Um, yeah, but that was, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that, and when I come back to it, I'll probably be either with a new expansion or with mods in the future. It will not be a quick thing, but it will be in the future. Anyway, I'll catch you all next time. See you then. Bye.